Hello Vinyl Community and anyone else watching. I've had a really long day. Um, I've been up since about dawn and it's pretty late now. <laughs> but uh, I went to work today and after work I thought uh, I'd go check out a thrift store I haven't been to in about a week and a half. It's the one where I got um, all the stuff from the last thrift store finds a video that I sh I made. So I, oh, I'll give it a shot. I doubt they'll have anything new. In fact, I was kind of hoping they didn't. <laughs> to be honest, because um, I got enough last week. Um, but uh, they did. <laughs> so, um... I thought I'd make a video. I want to make a quick video, but it won't be a quick video, and I know this. But um, I'm going to do my best to not talk very much about each record and just show what I got. But I spent slightly under $20. So I wanted to show everyone <laughs> what I think is amazing that $20 can buy once in a while. It's so weird that, you know, a, a month or two ago I was complaining about how dry it was. There weren't records anywhere. And now, every time I go anywhere, it seems flooded. Um, <laughs> part of me, again, is hoping for a dry spell. But anyway, so here we go. Um, this isn't in the right cover. It should just be in a white sleeve, and this is in somebody else's white sleeve. But just for the start, this is pretty cool. This is on Stiff Records. It's Ian Dury and the Blockhead. Blockhead, yeah. It's just Ian Dury, actually. Um, Wake Up, Make Love With Me. And um, it's promo only, white label promo on uh, Stiff. And uh, Bill or Ricky Dicky, and uh, I guess that's it, is uh, the B side. On Stiff Records, white label promo in really nice shape. So, just this alone is, <laughs> I'm pretty amazed at. Pick this up for kicks. Um, there's a few of you out there that love um, promo only kind of 12 inches. That was one. Don't Let Go, Wait, and Dance Hall Days, 12 inch promo only by Wang Chung. Their two biggest hits right on this one uh, 12 inch. Back's cool too. It's got sort of a beat up guitar. Um, I thought that was kind of cool. This just, I, I laughed. Um, Joe English, who was the uh, second drummer for Wings. He's the guy that did the Wings Over America tour. He lives in upstate New York now. Um, a friend of mine a long time ago saw him play a wedding. <laughs> so this was the, uh, I, I've never heard any of his stuff. Sometimes it can have a religious overtone. But um, it's my first Joe English album, Lights in the World. I thought that was awesome. This I bought. I don't have it. I don't need it. But it was mint, mint shape and shrink with the original stickers and everything. It's the Rhino reissue, sort of. The Rhino compilation of um, Billy and the Beater stuff. I forget what label this was originally on. Um... And it's got at this moment, you know, and uh, his hit and uh, all that stuff. So, hey, I picked it up again. <laughs> 20 bucks here. Promo copy of uh, Sparks pulling rabbits out of a hat. It's got the little promo thing and everything. I don't remember if this is white label or not. I guess I should have looked, huh? So I'm not spending too much. No, it's not. The regular Atlantic label. Um, but still, really nice shape record. Cover's not perfect. It's not bad. It's just not perfect. And I could clean it up a little bit. I haven't had time to clean up any covers or anything this time. This I bought again just because it's like mint. It's a later issue. But it's mint. It's got the stickers and everything on it. Uh, and shrink. Tony Bennett. Uh, the best of Tony Bennett. Again, it's in really, really nice shape still and shrink. We're talking like three for a dollar here is what all of these were. Bunch of Harry Connick Jr. Just Harry Connick Jr. We are in love. These are all in really, really, really nice shape. All still in original shrink. 
Harry Connick Jr. 20. Harry Connick Jr. Trio. Lofty's Roach Shuffle. And the When Harry Met Sally soundtrack. Harry Connick Jr. These things are all like minty. They're in shrink. I, I couldn't pass them up. I couldn't leave them sit there. <laughs> I keep finding Liza Minnelli albums lately. This one's still in shrink. This is an early one on a and Records. just called Liza Minnelli. Could be her first record. Uh, she does uh, the Beatles for no one on here. Um, that's one of the main reasons I bought it. But again, it's, it's in, besides this little tag right here, which will, I think, come off. Still in shrink. It's cool. The, this is minty as well. I don't really love these guys, but I don't have any. United Artists, a later pressing of Jay and the Americans' greatest hits. Still in shrink. Minty. Um, had to. Some country now. George Jones, you ought to be here with me. Uh, these are um, almost all on Epic Records. Um, in Shrink. In Shrink. This one's just, this one's called George Jones Encore. It's got some of his greatest hits on it. George Jones, Jones Country. Still in Shrink. Willie Nelson, Stardust. I have a nice copy of this, but this is an upgrade. And it's in shrink. It's still got the original uh, pipe sticker on it. Um, that's awesome. Great album, by the way. Willie Nelson, without a song. Got the shrink and the hype sticker. Minty. Minty fresh, a lot of these. Um, Willie Nelson, What a Wonderful World, still in shrink. Willie Nelson, Island in the Sea, still in shrink, got the hype sticker, minty, not minty, but pretty decent shape, Dave Dudley, Special Delivery, this is the album that has his version of Six Days on the Road on it, and um, I love that song, so I wanted that. I don't buy a whole lot of classical, but this is a Columbia Masterworks pressing of Bernstein doing Ravel's R R R Bolero, and it's still sealed. So again, about three for a buck, I bought it. Abba, voulez vous? I just couldn't pass it up. It's minty. Um, it's got the original sleeve. Um, it's. It's Abba's boy who. This is an upgrade copy for me, believe it or not. Bay City Rollers, best of the Bay City Rollers. I had to buy this. I mean, I couldn't let it sit there. The New Monkeys. Still sealed. And guess what, folks? I'm pretty sure this will remain sealed. There's... No reason to open this. <laughs> Olivia Newton-John, come on over. It's in really nice shape, and I like the title track a lot. Um, I'm not a very huge Olivia Newton-John fan, but again, I do like that song. The Bee Gees wrote it, and it's a really decent song, and the record's in really nice shape. This I just thought was cool. Burt Bacharach and Hal David's version um, for a play they did of uh, Frank Capra's Lost Horizon. Um, it's on Bell. And this thing sort of folds up like this. And it does this. And there's your record. And I don't know if you can see all of this, but it gets like huge. And I'm just like, this is cool. So, there you go. Soundtrack to Lost Horizon. This is not in great shape. I'm hoping I can clean it up some, but I had a pat. I've never seen it before. Fathom, the soundtrack starring Raquel Welch. I have seen the movie, and from what I remember, the soundtrack is really, really groovy. And that's exactly what I want. I like that kind of stuff. So, uh, 
I'm hoping this will clean up a little bit and I'll have a decent copy of uh, Raquel Welch's Fathom. Jose Jimenez, a submarine officer on Cap Records. And this thing, again, is in really, really nice shape. So I'll show it in my comedy collection. I don't do much radio. Once in a while I get something. But this is um, down in Allen's Alley. And of course, it's some of the best of the Fred Allen show. And I do like Fred Allen. And uh, it's in really, really nice shape. The cover's a little dirty, but it'll clean up. Um, record's in really nice shape. So, what the heck. This is still in shrink, but the shrink is filthy. I might even take it off. I'm not sure. The Hollywood Strings. Play Elvis. I've never seen this. I had seen the Beatles and the Monkees and the Rolling Stones. I haven't seen Elvis. So there you go. Still in shrink. The Hollywood Strings play Elvis. And uh, again, record is minty. Here's a few of these sort of things. Tony Mottola, Tony String, is doing all kinds of uh, songs of the day from the late 60s to the early 70s. I had to buy this. Arthur Lyman, the king of uh, <laughs> sort of Hawaiiana doing songs of the day, um, a later 60s album on, on Life Records, whoever they are. I had to, again, the record is really, really nice on that. Again, Lenny D, the king of the cheesy 50s and early 60s organ doing stuff in the late 60s, early 70s, Ruby Don't Take Your Love to Town, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm trying to see what else is on here. Spinning Wheel. Everybody did Spinning Wheel. Lawrence Welk, Peggy Lee. <laughs> anyway, Lenny, Lenny D. I always buy Al Hurt when they're nice. This is an upgrade copy of Honey and the Horn for me. Um, and I think I even have a stereo, but this one's still in shrink. And the record is really, really nice. Doris Day with the Paige Cavanaugh Trio. This is some very, very early Doris Day with, of course, Paige Cavanaugh. And uh, again, still in shrink. Record minty fresh. As is this one, Stardust Memories, Hoagie Carmichael. Same deal. Um, still in shrink. I mean, these things look like they've never been played. Probably haven't. Benny Goodman, Sex Tech, Columbia Masterworks album. Again, a sort of a best of Benny Goodman. I was thinking this is volume two, but I'm not sure. Anyway, Minty, Shrink, had to. Two record set, the best of Artie Shaw. I may have this. But again, this is an upgrade because these are minty, minty. Still in the shrink once again. Two record set. Best of Artie Shaw. Some good big band kind of stuff there. And I usually don't buy cheesy various artists. But I know Columbia did a nice job on these. The best of the 40s. Volume 1. There's some interesting stuff on here. Sentimental Journey and... Uh, Beginning to see the light, an early version of that, buttons and bows, you made me love you, I didn't want to do it, like Dinosaur, the Doors Day's on here, uh, Kitty Kalen is on here, <laughs> um, I don't know, again, Minty and Shrink, this is, this cover's not great, but the record's really nice. Uh, the Louis Armstrong story, of course, Louis Armstrong. And there's some really good stuff on here. Mostly earlier stuff. Um, but it might be re-recorded, and it's volume two of this. Um, and again, I had to pick it up. My pile's tipping over. A few more here. This cover is in awesome shape. Except somebody wrote their name on it. Which I don't get mad at anymore. I sort of think it's endearing. I Can't Stop Loving You, this time by Basie. Count Basie doing pop tunes. This has got to be a uh, mid-60s um, kind of record. Maybe it's a little earlier. I did my heart, left my heart in San Francisco and Walk Don't Run. Walk Don't Run by Count Basie. 
I can't wait to hear that. Record is really nice again. Ramsey Lewis Trio, another voyage on Checker Cadet in stereo. Record again, really nice shape. A weird Bix Biter back in the Wolverines compilation um, on Riverside. And I've never seen anything by him on Riverside before, but um, hopefully they did a good job on preserving these these are really early recordings, so hopefully they did an awesome job on that. Interesting album, I thought. Nice shape. I know this song. I've never seen this album before. Billy Preston, The Kids and Me. Never seen this before, and this is the album with nothing from nothing on it. And I've never seen it before. I don't know where I was. Well, I was 10. <laughs> That's probably why. Um, but... Again, really nice shape. One more album, but then I'm not through. I, I had to pick this up. Really nice shape again. The Beyond the Fringe guys, of course. Um, Peter Cook, Dougley Moore, Alan Bennett, Jonathan Miller in uh, Beyond the Fringe. And it's the original Broadway cast soundtrack recording. And it's in really, really nice shape. Okay. So that was 45 records, but I'm not done. I also got some 45s. I got 17 45s as well. well again, under $20. I got Badfinger. Come and get it. Now this, I'm pretty sure, by the look of it, is new old stock. Um, I think a record store had all of these. And these were new and never bought. But... The amazing thing is, I got that one, I got this one. These sleeves are all shot, these black sleeves, but two come and get it. These were five, five for a dollar. Three come and get it. They're dirty, but four come and get it. Five come and get it, all in unplayed condition. But that didn't do it for Apple. I got Jackie Lomax, Sour Milk C. Um, que Sera Sera by Mary Hopkin. Again, um, new old stock. Um, these things are mint. They has to be new old stock. They, they're, they've, and this, I've never had one of these. Um, Golden Slumbers Carry That Weight by Trash. Um, I've never, this is a record I've never had. And I have no idea what it goes for on eBay. Probably nearly as much as I paid for everything. Um, but that's not done because I've got That's the Way God Planned It by Billy Preston. And all that I've got by Billy Preston. All on Apple, all in new unplayed condition. These are rough on some of them, but the records are perfect. The rest of these are at least used. Um, the Bee Gees, Mr. Natural, love this song. White label promo copy. Um, stereo, mono, stereo on that side. Um, if you don't know this Bee Gees song, it's really good. It's just before they started turning, if you will. Um, great song. I've never had this record. And I was so glad to find it. The Walker Brothers. The Sun Ain't Gonna Shine Anymore. The original 45 on Smash. Five for a dollar. Like You Do To Me. I don't know which is the A side here. Beat the Clock. This is another unplayed new old stock 45 by the McCoys. Don't know which is the A side. Don't know either of those songs. Uh, Nancy Sinatra. Sugar Town backed with Summer Wine. I know it's upside down, but that's, that one's not new. Booker T and the MGs, Moral Onions and Tic Tac Toe. These last two I bought just because I, I couldn't really pass them up. Um, the Exotic Guitars, I Was Kaiser Wilhelm's Batman. <laughs> And 
and uh, Sergio Mendez in Brazil 66, their version of the Beatles' Pool on the Hill. Well, that's what when you're lucky, some people won't consider me lucky, but if <laughs> you do, that's what a $20 bill will buy you around here on a good day. Um, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, I was just sort of blown away. Um, and I left, country fans would shoot me. I left a ton of mint country records behind by Travis Tritt and Reba McIntyre and uh, all kinds of people like that. But it's just not my thing. Uh, anyway, if you're still here, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, I'm just going to do one big shout out to everybody that watches me and all my friends on YouTube and in the vinyl community and my new subscribers and uh, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been watching your videos as much as I can and um, commenting when I feel there's need to comment and um, not commenting on my own. I know I'm really, really bad at that. I apologize. I'm sorry. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching, um, and check out my podcast. It's the Snap, Crackle, Pop Vinyl Hour. Uh, it's snapcracklepop.podomatic.com. Do check that out. Um, like, subscribe, leave me comments. I love them. I do read them, even though I don't often answer. Um, I'm working on it. I swear. I say this every time. I swear. I am. Again, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go get some sleep, um, and... Uh, Take care and I'll catch you next time. Bye.